Hello everyone. In this program, we, uh, I mean, in this video, we are trying to generate all the prime numbers between 1 to n. So n is a value which will be given by the user. If suppose you will give n value as 10, it should print the values between 1 to 10. If you will give 20, it should print the values from 1 to 20. Which numbers? Only the prime number. So as a prerequisite, you can uh, refer the previous video, uh, which we had seen how to calculate the prime numbers. There also we had used the C, uh, an extra variable. And as I said, prime number is nothing but if it is divisible by itself and it is, it should be divisible by 1. Only these are the two conditions, right? So if it is divisible twice, then you will tell that it is a prime number or otherwise it is not a prime number and here what is our condition we need to print all the prime numbers between one to n digits right so that is the reason we require two for loops one is for checking out whether the given number is prime or not and we wanted to check n numbers that is n number of times you wanted to check each and uh, sorry uh, n number of values you need to check whether it is a prime number or not right so for that reason we are using two for loops here in this case so starting with your stdio.h uh, our void main and as i said i'm i'm going to declare the two not two three variables n i j count count as usual we had seen no in our previous lecture count is nothing but your c variable there i have declared it as c here count is like c only if suppose your count value will become two then it is a prime number or else you will move on to the next number right so yes i'm asking user to enter the uh, n value to print n prime numbers so if i consider if suppose i had considered the the value still one two three right so three means i think uh, two and three will be printed right so if i wanted to print the values because uh, we will be doing the calculations now uh, so yeah so if you just consider three that is i wanted to print from one two three how many prime numbers are there right so my n value is three print of the prime numbers between percentile d so i uh, in the output i was just wanted to give a statement like that so i had given that one and next for i is equals to 1, i less than n. So my n value is 3. 1 is less than or equals to 3. Condition is true. Here what I am doing, I am making my count value as 0. Right? So I am making my count value as 0. And then I am entering into this second for loop where I was trying to check out whether that particular number is uh, prime number or not so simple j is equals to 1 j less than or equals to i so what is my value 1 is less than or equals to i condition is true that is first number you are considering and um, next you are entering into the for loop and you are checking if i modulus of j so what is my i value 1 modulus of 1 right is equals to zero yes one more one is divisible by one it is equals to zero so you are incrementing the count value right so you will just come back and you will increment the j value so now my j value will become two is two less than or equals to one no condition false so you will come out of this for loop this for loop and you'll check if count value is two no, my count value is 1. So, I am not going to enter into this if loop. And you are just coming out of this for loop and you are incrementing i value now. Right? So, now my i value will become 2. 2 less than or equals to 3. Yes, condition is true. Again, what we are doing are I am making count value as 0. Here, j is equals to 1. It will check out. j is less than or equals to i. 1 is less than or equals to 2 condition is true so again you will come here two modulus of j so j value is one uh, i value is two right two is divisible by one yes condition is true so you will increment the count value and then you will come out of uh, this one and you will increment the j value again so now my j value will become two so two less than or equals to two Yes, condition is true. So, 2 modulus of 2 is equals to 0. That is 2 divisible by 2. Yes, it is uh, equals to 0. So, your count value will become now 2. Previously, it is incremented because it is divisible by 1. 
and now it is divisible by 2 uh, then the uh, count value had become 2 again you will come and increment the j value so now my j value will become 3 3 less than or equals to 3 sorry 3 less than or equals to 2 condition false then you will come here and you will check if count is equals to 2 yes my count value is 2 so now i am trying to print the i value which value we are trying to print we are trying to print the i value because i value is 2 right so you will print that 2 and from here again you will come back to the i for loop and you will increment the i value so now my i value will become 3 so 3 less than or equals to 3 yes condition is true your account value is again 0 again you are checking j is equals to 1 1 less than or equals to 3 yes condition is true you will enter here 3 modulus of 1 yes it is equals to 0 then your account value will become 1 now again you will come and increment the j value so now your j value will become 2 2 less than or equals to 3. Yes, condition is true. 3 modulus of 2 is equals to 0. No, condition false. So, you are not getting increment uh, count value. Again, you will come and increment the J value. So, now your J value will be 3. 3 less than or equals to 3. Yes, condition is true. So, 3 modulus of 3 is equals to 0. Yes, condition is true. So, you will increment the count value. So, now your count value will become 2. Now, again, you will come here and you will increment the J value. Your J value will become 4. 4 less than or equals to 3. Condition false. You are not going to enter here and you are not going to do any incrementation for that count. Simply, you will come out of this for loop. The next statement is, if count is equals to 2. Yes, count is equals to 2 in the case of the value 3. Right? So, you will print that value 3 and again, you will come back for this I for loop. So, now your I for loop will become 4. 4 less than or equals to 3 condition false. So, you simply will just come out of this for loop and you will quit from the for loop. Then you are main and um, yeah, then from your main. So, this is what actual logic which is running behind this program. So, let us once compile and check out this program once. So, compilation, no errors. Coming back to our execution, enter n value to print n prime numbers. So, I am giving 10, I am giving right so 2 3 5 7 are the prime numbers which are there between 1 and 1 to 10 so in this way we are going to uh, get n prime numbers between 1 to n value whatever the user is going to give right so i think this is clear uh, for everyone that's all for this video thank you all